The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in Central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts, Tom and Steve. Welcome in, welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. This is the 2024 pre-Thanksgiving edition of The Local Show. I'm your host, Tom Sokosho Jr., along with my friend and co-host, Steve Roberts. The Local Show features conversations about local businesses. We talk to the business owners, CEOs, CFOs, entrepreneurs, nonprofits, business advocates, and other business-friendly organizations. We learn why they got into business and uh, why they do business right here in Syracuse, New York, and where their businesses might be going in the future. You're going to hear all about their successes, challenges, opportunities, marketing, and advertising. We're broadcasting from the Zoe Advertising Studio, sponsored by Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts. And you can see us on YouTube. Please get over there and give us a like and subscribe, and then you'll be served up all sorts of great content, and you'll be able to see Steve in all his glory. All of my glory. Brilliance. Well, and well uh, you know. Okay, if you say so, <laughs> it works for me. Well, Tom, the fish has started to bite, and I like. Oh if, yeah, if you're a walleye guy, and um, so so I don't want to tell anybody because then they'll catch fish that I was going to catch. But uh, when they, does that stop? What, is it in November? It, it actually depends? doesn't stop and stop until March fifteenth. No kidding. So you can catch walleye. Oh, right, because there's ice fishing. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then on the fifteenth, the season closes and opens the first Saturday in May. Mm-hmm. So um, uh, because the walleye go up the creek in in the spring, and you could like you know basically harpoon them. They're right there, so they make they close the season as they should. And uh, so yeah, I, I was having a uh, a brunch with uh, my my childhood friend uh, James. You had a friend? Yeah, uh, one. Okay. And uh, yeah, I paid him dearly wow. <laughs> to stay with me all <laughs> my teen years, and we were talking about the old days. And and when we were, you know, 19 and 20 and, yeah. and we used to do all the ice fishing and we used to be so jealous of the, uh, what they call the perch pirates yes. out there. Right. Yes. And then those old guys used to go out there oh and, my the, gosh. And, and they would get five pal buckets would, of, yeah. uh, I was perch. out, I was out there one day they were, uh, again 30 years ago they're racing yeah. cars they had a renault car race right off burch and they would clean it with a plow and they would race <laughs> yeah. the cars on the ice and that was horrible it, it was, was awesome very, yeah it was awesome but it's horrible yeah because somebody always goes through well that's, that's all the, that's, that's the idiot about. trying to do run a sled across yeah. in april or, or, or a monster guy. truck you yeah. know same it's guy they get crazy yeah well anyway i don't know that i'll ever be a perch pirate uh but i'm gonna just be me stacy cook how are you i'm well thanks for having us well thank you for being here I, I know you not, uh, so I'm going to try and get to know you and uh, what your business does and all that, and we'll let Steve participate to a lesser degree. That's uh, fair. <laughs> it, there's a PA after your name. What does that mean? Yes, so I'm a physician assistant. They actually just changed the title to physician associate. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Is there a difference between the assistant or associate? Or no, I think a... they thought like people were getting confused with what physician assistants are. Are. Isn't that like yeah. almost a doctor? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we're trained in the scope of, you know, right. the physician model. But a PA is, is trained under a doctor where a nurse practitioner is trained in the nursing you skills. Got it. Is that fair? Nailed it. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. I'm smarter than I look, Tom. Well, and, and, and <laughs> the reality of it is, and we've had uh, plenty of doctors on, yeah. right? Yeah. That, that most of the time people are seeing a PA, right? Yeah. I mean, that was our intentional role was to fulfill the the scope of practice that the docs do so we can extend their services, see their patients, help them. So as long as the doctor that we're under feels comfortable with the skills that the PA has, then yeah. we can do all the things they can do. Let's offend a bunch of doctors. Okay. Uh, and we'll, we'll do that by, by me saying, and it'll be me, it'll be Tom's fault. <laughs> so you don't have to take the heat. Okay, good. But don't you think that the PA has a different mindset? They're a little more empathetic. They can spend a little more time with the patient listening to their issues. Yeah, I do yeah. feel that way like through the last 10 years of being a PA, I think physician burnout is like a real thing. Yeah. And that we do have the luxury of spending a little more time and right. have I think every PA that I've met has that compassion and empathy. Right. Where some of the doctors are brilliant, but I don't know if well, Yeah, so, they, so where does PA and cosmetic queen meet cuz that seems different <laughs> yeah it does. so um i actually met my partner jenna murphy she's a nurse practitioner <laughs> and we were working at the same practice and then we decided we wanted to branch out and do things a different way so 
We started an aesthetic medicine practice. We do cosmetic dermatology, all sorts of injectables, um, IV therapy, um, medical managed weight loss, kind of all of these things that we've learned over the past working at different practices. And then we decided we're gonna do it on our so own. So is it because Tom wants to be pretty or Tom wants to be healthy? Both. We want Tom See, to be pretty Tom's and neither, healthy. let's be clear. That's right. Uh, that is not true, I'm, Steve. Uh, <laughs> I am pretty, I'm, pre I'm pretty ugly. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So uh, who comes to you and when and why and what's the process? All the people. So we have um, young um, children that are in high school, middle school that are struggling with skincare and acne and things like that. And we kind of run through with the parents what a good skincare regimen might be. Um, we try to help with any bullying situations, things like that. And then we have all the way up through to um, you know, I would say the geriatric population with doing skin checks and making sure the moles are non-cancerous. Mm -hmm. And then we do the IV therapy, which everybody can benefit from. We have a few different drips that Jenna has curated. So recovery for athletes, as well as immunity. Also from, from hydration yeah. to like Hangovers. vitamin D yeah. and Tom, vitamin B and all that. Yeah. If you need an right, IV for a right. hangover, maybe if you had to plan ahead, maybe you got a problem. I need an <laughs> IV. <laughs> I don't know if you had to, I'll see you Monday. That's probably not, I mean, I'm just saying. It, it might be such a thing like, I'm not gonna drink at this wedding, but then you have a little too much fun and then the next day you call us and say, hey, yeah. I had too much fun. I need an IV of something after the show every year. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot so, of athletes that use it. So for I imagine recovery. that uh, you help a lot of women more than guys, is that Why would fair? you imagine that? Uh, because women look better than us, Tom. <laughs> so, so is that true? I mean, are 70, 80% women? Yeah, I would say about 25% are guys. Okay. Um, so we are seeing an increase in that trend as things are going and people are becoming more and more comfortable with the mm. aging process and knowing that we're not gonna make them look fake or weird, we're just kind of reversing aging. And we actually have a lot of lasers at our practice. Okay. So we're finding that more and more people want to do natural rejuvenation and not have to go under the knife. As opposed to surgery. Yeah. Because Tom's afraid he's gonna look like Burt Reynolds. Yeah. You don't have yes. that that like that look like you just got surprised all the time because you've had your skin pulled so many times. So so you're non-surgical medical. Yes. Um, so where do the cosmetics, is that, because that sounds like paint. Yeah, so <laughs> any of the injectables that we do, so Botox, filler, biostimulants, laser treatments, those are all gonna increase the aesthetic appearance of patients. And we've found actually that this has had a huge impact on patients' confidence and them being able to put their best face forward, oh, So where, where is the practice? Where are so you we located? actually have two locations mm -hmm. now. Um, we're out in Fulton, New York, mm -hmm. and then we have a practice right here in Syracuse called Inspire in the Greenery. Um, where, where is that? It's right on North Warren. Okay, so, so downtown. Downtown where, Syracuse, yeah. okay. Downtown. Gotcha. If someone yeah. wanted information, they, they have some questions or they, they want to look better or feel better or yeah. maybe just start the process. The uh, 243 35 35? 234. You know, Tom, do I flip every number around? I, don't, I, don't, I really don't listen to what you say. Yeah, so that's I, I that's good. So so if you dialed the other number, you got somebody and they said why you're calling. So if you want to talk, uh, look better, maybe feel better, 234 35 35. Mm -hmm. Let's do that again. It's a big area code 315 234 35 35. Thank yeah. you for being here. Thank you so much for having us. All right, Stacey.